Hey vloggity vlog, it is Tay Rose. So now this is another episode of the teacher content creator life. I know you saw the beginning clips. I went to my local beauty supply store and I have my candle lit right there. That is the um, bubble candle. I finally found something to put that in so that we could just burn out because it was just a mess. And I swear to you, like, my makeup was much more kept than beforehand. Like, that spray is really good, but I feel like in some cases you have to really douse it in areas in which you want it to stay. My makeup did look better earlier, but it's 6.05 um, right now. Just came back from the beauty supply store, had to pick up some things. And then before that, I mean, I came from work to drop off my bags because my bags were so heavy. And then I just needed that retail therapy, I feel like, because I mean, today was rough. I'm going to um, show not a clip of it, but a clip of of like what happened <clears throat> so first I'm going to start off with my um she not she glam I'm gonna start with what I got from the beauty supply store so I always it's always as good to like um re-up on like, your hair supplies so I got the um Miss Remy luminous bonnet and I got I always get extra large because I have a lot of hair and so I got the um gold pearl this is for $4.99 got gold pearl and I also got the pink pearl too like they are so freaking pretty okay and then I also saw this too and I thought it was so cute my sister um got one and I got one this is the NK makeup sugar cookie now if you've been on this channel you know I love NK and they made the perfect dupe to an eyeshadow palette I'll make sure to place it somewhere in the cards this is a sugar cookie sweet lippy like it smells like sugar cookie it smells so good. It had other flavors or scents too, like tiramisu, um, strawberry, strawberry cheesecake, salted caramel. I think, I think salted caramel would have been good, but I wanted to get one and then be done. Okay, this I'm going to most likely put in a purse or I might put it in my work. Nah, I'll put it in my purse because I mean, my work, I already have something in there already. And I don't want anything too cutesy um, for work because I mean, there's genders. They be stealing things. When I first worked at where I worked, they were um stealing um things like they would take out of my stash and um, they would take out of what do we call it they would take out of my stash and they would take from the peanut butter and jelly um station so there's a lot of these in there so i don't want to leave any personal items in there like i used to and then i stopped myself i mean i used to leave like a lip gloss in there and i stopped um doing that because these people like the those who um are the night genders they be going through people's things but anyway, this is this. I forgot the price, honestly, but I think it was, oh, it was $2.99 for this. Can't wait to use it. Now, you know me. I know I'm not wearing them now, but I love my lash clusters. And I think these are going to be so perfect for me. I got two of these. This is the 3D Faux Mink Lashes. This is the La Flair, the Secret of Beauty. And, um, and they show you they have like one for your left eye and then for your right eye. And they, this is a 14 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and then 10 millimeters. But I love how the 10 millimeters, they're very short because I cannot have anything too close to my eye. I, I seriously cannot because then it just starts to poke one and two, they fall off quicker. Cause I'm telling you like the last time I had lash extensions, they were on and then it was going to snap that same night. I honestly didn't know the price um, for these. They didn't really tell. Oh, my sister saw these and I was like, ooh, I want some. These are these Nika, Nika K New York Gemstone Nail Stickers. Self-adhesive, easy to apply. This is for $4.99 and they're 3D. So I got this design right in here. And I got this design right here as well. For obvious reasons, I will not be doing this for work. This would be for like holidays or for New Year's. So if you want to see some holiday nails with this, let me know in the comments below. So now I'm going to talk about the things that I got from Shein. I mean, this is this is some this helps me um too besides venting with how terrible my day was. I got more um candles. This is the scented um candle, and just look at this beauty. It's a rose, and I got two of them. And they're going to be part of my display um, once the holidays are over. And they smell so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So I got two of those. 
And then I also got this candle. This candle I saw and I was like, ooh, I'm getting this. This is so fire. It is um this. As you can tell, you can see some of the flowers that are in there. And then it has like another layer on here too. I don't like how there's like a lot of bubbles, but anytime you work with um, anything clear, it's not going to be all translucent. It's going to be, it's gonna be some hiccups I'm here and there. This smell smells really good too. My mom, um, she was like, girl, let me smell it. You know, she smelled it. And then this is what I'm excited for. I was so happy when these um came. So you see my face, right? You see this? That's my oil spot. And then um, this is um, usually where I'm dry, but today is like, girl, let me shine through with my oils. This is the She Glam Birthday Skin Oil Primer. And this is, oh yeah, I read it wrong. She Glam Birthday Skin Oil Control Primer. All right. So the first time I tried the birthday skin primer, I was not happy. To me, it was garbage. I did not want to try it again. But then, this is another new release that She Glam came out with. And so I'm like, bet, I'm going to try it. I love the packaging. It looks so sleek. I'm just doing it sideways so you don't see within my camera. And then, it's green, but it should come out clear, translucent. I'm just um, popping this open so I don't got to deal with that first thing in the morning. So yeah, it's definitely clear, but then the whole thing is um, green. So I'm going to try this, especially for my T-zone. And I want to no or i'm gonna try to see if it'll work to control the oils but then again i haven't been disappointed with she glam ever so i feel like whatever they execute will will be um better than what is over here i got this this is the she glam good grip hydrating primer so i'm gonna pause it for a second good grip hydrating primer what do you think this is comment that down below Cause milk has something that looks just like this and the same consistency but i haven't actually tested it on my face yet and elf also made this too but it's in a pumping tube and it's like more like a bag i feel like i'm just making a prediction from now but i feel that this is going to be really good and i think that i might keep on buying this but i don't want to talk too soon and then the product is terrible so i'm going to try it out and see and if even if you want a review like a separate review from the vlog, let me know as well. But I think I'm gonna wear it this Friday because it's my nephew's birthday. And we plan on going somewhere. I don't know I'm where yet. I mean, that's that's his plan. And so I plan on doing that. Plus two is the same day as picture day. But girl, tell me why picture day um, for my grade level is all the way at 1.30. Now, you know a sucker like me get has combination skin right like i'm straight up i straight up will not take pictures with my students like i love them but i'm not doing it i'm going to come down during my lunch and i'm going to take pictures before my skin becomes like this i'm gonna try these too i'm not gonna do like a get ready with me because it's work and i'm not gonna set up a camera six in the morning and put makeup on my face so i'm going to try it and i'm going to come at you with how my face is looking before I leave the house and before the stress gets to me. And then after school, once I'm finished with <clears throat> my eight hour shift of teaching, that's gonna be the real test. It's 619 right now. I'm going to change, cause I have on my robe. I'm going to put on, I'm gonna put on my comfy clothes and I'm going to grade, I'm gonna score these tests. Cause these kids took the test today, but I feel like they have rebounded, and I think um today's shenanigans did not help them at all. Like, they are, it's a hot mess. are really cute and they have oh, it's only 19.99 too i like this one because this one will go with everything yeah yeah i'm i'm getting this one i like this color it's only 19.99 keep the fit all right so i found some shower steamers so this is what they had at first the grinch like 
I'm not doing that. I'm no Grinch. Um, so they also have some Epsom um, salt ones here too. Let's see. Oh, this one um is a shower steam and relax, and there's a bunch in here. And this is for $6.99. I don't know how much is in here. And it's like lavender scented. They also have this one also. This is the shower steamer energize. I think this is orange. Yep, orange. I don't think that would smell right. This is so cute. This is skin dip rainbow swirl. I'm gonna look at it just to see what that's about. They have the candy cane, which Christmas is coming. The holiday is coming, so I'll be looking at that. They have this cotton candy one too, so I'm gonna look at that one as well. While I'm in the midst of shopping for birthday and Christmas season. This is um, really good. This is a Ghost Scrub Face and Body Exfoliating Washcloth. I wouldn't suggest this on your face because it's so rough, but definitely for the skin, this is perfect. And this is $4.99. This pretty much is like $2.50 for one. So I'm just going to do an unready with me. This is my makeup. Like at first I thought the spray was working, but I think it works after a certain amount of hours because this is Wednesday, October 19th, and it's 6.51 right now. I've had this on since six o'clock in the morning. So tomorrow for picture day, I definitely will be trying the gripping primer and I will be trying the birthday cake primer just to see how it is. I need to do the Precision Beauty Skincare Solution Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes, and this is a collagen one. They have 60 wipes in here, and I know y'all remember the price of that, so I'm just going to wipe off my face, and I'm just going to tell you how everything is going. I can say that work today was really good. There's no issues on my end, if you feel me. I know like there's a lot of sicknesses that's going around, and so like I kind of feel my throat, but I'm just saying mad for myself. That's one. And then two, tomorrow is picture day. All right, so I mean, I know my co-teacher and I, we celebrated the students that were on it. So what we do for an award, an award system, I can't really show y'all because it has some of the kids' names on there. But, but I mean, from Dollar Tree, we bought these um, sticker systems and I'm gonna make sure to take a picture of it and put it off to the side. And it already comes with stickers and there's like 25. It's like a five by five grid. And so what we did was anytime they are showing that they're focused or that their voices are off and like they are following directions, we give them a point. And whichever team fills up all 25 of those, um, they have a day where they, they can use mechanical pencils, they can use specialized markers, and um, they get breakfast on us. Like nothing crazy like Dunkin' and all that, but like some donut holes and Capri Sun is all that'll do and my co-teacher now we switch the roles like sometimes um she'll buy the donut holes and the juice and i'll buy the decor and then sometimes she'll buy the decor i'll buy the um juice and the donut holes we're doing that just that way everything is equal i can say that there was no fights on um, today but then i'm um, like we had a fire drill which i didn't know it was gonna happen and i guess something popped off between a girl and two students and so now she's getting expelled or suspended for two days it's like a never-ending story with this group because i switch between two classes there's two um classes um that i teach ela and the first class that i have they're always up here when i need them right here or right here like they're never chill they're always up here all right so now i'm going to use my makeup remover wipes or not wipes but my makeup remover cloth and I put the micellar water under already. And I'm doing water with it too, so that way it's not too much micellar water because I've noticed that I run through micellar water like no one's business. You're going to see how I prep for picture day. And today's Thursday, so I always do my skincare on Thursdays and Sundays. I always take out time to do that. I usually start around seven o'clock, but then I didn't have any work to do because I did all my work at school. And then there's a class that is ahead. Like I tell you, like these makeup towels, um, they do the trick, okay? Like they are so good. Like you would think that I just washed my face, I tell you. So here's a tip. Always, always, always take this. If it's like the big towel on them, take this, wet it with um, water, drain it out, and then take a little bit of micellar water, kind of massage it in there, and then wipe off your um, makeup, and then you are set to go. And you can wash these in 
the washer and they'll be good to go. I like to double wash it. Sometimes I'll, after I use it, <clears throat> I'll wash it with soap or oatmeal soap. I'll wash it with oatmeal soap because this is going on my face and I'll let it air dry. This is this is the um, aftermath of what makeup wipes will do if you only use one wipe. And I turned mine upside down and this was still the end result. So you still want to double cleanse because at the end of the night, you're still going to put all the nutrients that you need back on your face with the serums and the moisturizers. So when they say don't double cleanse, you want to double cleanse and you still want to wash your face. All right, so I just washed my face and I got my water for my steamer. And then after I steam, I'm going to go in and I'm going to extract my face. I have my extraction tools in here. And I'm going to also use this ultrasonic ion face skin cleansing scrubber. I mainly use it to take out my whiteheads in my chin, the corners of my nose, and then right in here of my nose. That helps out a whole lot. And then like the forehead too. Like um, there's like little whiteheads in there that turns into blackheads that you don't see until they come out. It works beautifully. This I got from Amazon around 2020 and you know what time that was. Afterwards, I'm going to shave my face. And I usually do like aloe and the, um, what do you call it? Aloe and a razor, but for today I will be using this um, flawless razor to remove hair from it. I just put batteries in there, so good as new. And I also have this brow one um, too, just to check to see if there's anything with my brows. I do see some growing back. You know, don't really work like that. It's also good for inside your nose too. Which I don't, I don't have any nose hairs coming out, so that's a plus. And you want to make sure that if you use it after on um, your nose, to like really like sanitize it, because you don't want to put it on your nose and then your face. That's just germs. And then um, after that, I'm going to put on my um. Eye mask, this is the Mazone Multifunction Formula Snail Repair Intensive Gold Gel Eye Patch. So you're going to see me put that on. And then I'm going to put on also the Recharging Magnetic Mask Kit for $4.50. And this was at my local Marshalls. And it feels so good and it smells really good too. After I put on that mask, I will be doing this lip mask because again, my lips be dehydrated. This is the Peach Moisturizing Lip Mask. I'm gonna just have some of this. This is the Ginger Candy Bon Bon. This is Zesty Lemon Citron. Cause I feel my throat is like, okay, you're gonna get sick, you're gonna get sick. And I am not trying to get sick. Cause I have plans ahead, okay? I don't need to get sick. So that is what I'm gonna be eating. Alright, so this is my makeup and I did try that that good grip primer along with the mattifying primer from She Glam. You always want to keep it simple when it comes on to picture day. Never try anything different on picture day or wedding days. Because then everything's gonna turn out not so great. But this is how I'm looking. They usually take a picture from this side and it's looking pretty good. My outfit is this top, which I need to fix from Sheen's like a tight front, and then these pants are for, by Rachel Zoe. And I'm going to wear my loafers by Steve Madden. Not feeling the best, because my throat was like, but I'm gonna push through, it's Friday. Like. All right, so this is how my face is looking after eight, nine hours of work. So my face pretty much looks the damn same as it would if I were not to use that primer. You still see the mattes, or you still see that it's oily. Like around here, around here. Of course the C-zone area and around my chin, which my chin I decided is completely different. Couple things, first thing, I do not like the smell of the grip and primer. Like that mess is yuck. It is so gross smell. Like it's like, it almost smells like medicated. It's so weird. And there goes my lash coming off. I don't even care at this point. 
but it almost smells medicated. It's so disgusting. It's not even funny. And then um, the the other birthday skin primer, it feels the same. So there's that. Second, they canceled picture days on the day of. My students came in decked out with their outfits. They were so excited. And then it was on top of just saying, hey, well, guess what? This picture day is canceled because the photographer does not feel good. Like, I get it, I mean, because I'm under the weather right now because, like, my throat is killing me and then, like, my body, I have, like, aches here and there, but I'm pushing through because it's, like, the second day. This is usually what happens to me, which is crazy because I just got better, like, last month, and now I'm back sick again. So it definitely is um, the weather that is messing up everybody. So I understand that, like, when you're sick, you don't want to come to work, but... There could have been anybody from Life Touch to have taken our picture. It didn't have to be that person in particular. So, the kids and the staff have to wait until November 17th. Yeah. So, today is October 20th. It's my nephew's birthday. And we have to wait damn near a whole month for pictures to be taken. It's a hot mess. So, like, I was so I was bad. The kids were mad. And so, what I did, I'm not going to put it up, but I took pictures of the kids individually. And then I sent it to parents. So, if they want to um, have for keepsake... They have for keepsake because I know when November 17th comes, no one's gonna want to take a picture anymore. Like, we're gonna still put our effort in, but it's not gonna be the same effort as it was this time around. And it's going to show in the pictures. Like, I, I'm just putting it out there, it will show. That's the second thing. Um, third thing is I just had to um, vent because, like, my day it was <sighs> like the first class, like, they like, I again, I have two groups. Like, the first class I had, they were a hot mess. And um, the kids are so disrespectful to the assistant teacher. They were just like very rambunctious and loud. Like they're like playground loud. Like it's ridiculous. I'm telling them to shh. And like, this is like a sound signal for them. They're not following it at all. They're going to follow it. But then they're going to um, presume to keep at it. And so I was just like annoyed. And so there was lunchtime. And I did say that some kids could come over to my, to my classroom. And then all of a sudden... Um, the other teacher's kids are getting to it with my kids, so I was like, okay, um, we ain't not doing no, um, no lunch today. Which, I almost want to say no, um, lunches in general, but then these kids, like, they, they want to spend time with my kids, and a lot of them are very close, so I don't want to separate them completely and say, okay, um, no, you can't, um, do that, you know? There was, like, a whole blow-up, so I was like, okay, we just gonna have them exit. I'm happy that I'm going home. It's 3-11. I usually leave out of the school later than that. I make sure that it's early this time like i'm just not in it i don't want to see the building right now i just need to um go home and just chill with family at this point because it is just not okay but let me go drive because i feel like some people might be worried i always like to um, look out for any passerbys but yeah this is my makeup we didn't end up taking any pictures and i didn't even care like how i looked for the group photo like that's how much that's how over it i was because like, you don't cancel on a day of. That is just a hot mess. What the heck? <laughs> that is a nasty. I'm about to zoom into it. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely need to buy this Eco Organic Hydrogable Dermal Planning Razor Set. Only for $6.99, and I believe there is 12 in there. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Alright, so look at what I found. So cute. This is a Juicy Couture Cozy PJ set. It's white with the gold. Like, I don't know. I'm iffy about white with gold. And then this is. Let me see, where was the price? Sorry, y'all. $21.99? Absolutely not. Let's look at what I found. I found five pairs. Stop. For $10.99. The lighting is everything. So, but, so we're in Walmart. We're gonna get my nephew. and call it. We're going to get him an ice cream cake, and then I need to get their food, cause like I can feel it in my head and on my neck. 
it's not good. It's upside, it's up, upside down, but we have the cookies and cream ice cream. This is by Market Side. You know, this brand is really good. It's by Walmart too. All right, so it is 10:34 p.m. Yes, well, according to my watch, it's 10:33. 10.33, 10.34, my clock is usually is a minute ahead and then moves up to two minutes ahead. So I have to go in and manually change it. So I finished my Cinnabon mini rolls when I came home. We said happy birthday to my nephew. And I didn't eat none because I wanted to finish that, but I will eat the ice cream cake tomorrow. And then um, I did have this, this is a Mountain Dew Major Mountain. I'm gonna make sure to save the rest of this for tomorrow. I've noticed that like this week, like my, I've been having like stomach pains. It's been so weird. And then again, like my throat is still, is hurting to point out like, it's, like the pain is going into my neck and going to my head. So I'm getting that sinus pressure. And then like my whole body's hurting, but especially my back, like my back hurting is insane. So I went to um, Walmart and that's where I got the drink from. But then I also ordered some things from Walmart too. So I like quick dry nail polish, especially for my toes, cause I'm someone that likes to move around. So I got this Sally Hansen Insta Dry nail polish. This is in Clearly Quick, which I like that. This is a clear polish. And then I also bought this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Gel Cleanser. And this is my new go-to. I usually do this first thing in the morning to keep my face hydrated and supple. The Seraph, the Cetaphil one that I got from Influencer, that one is not the best. Once they sent me this, I was like, yes, and I loved it. So since then, I've been buying it. So you like, any products I discover is through Influencer. So it's not just to, uh, I need to put this hair back. That looks a hot mess. Right? So it's not just to get free products and do review, but you also get to discover new products as well on Influencer. So again, I say that you sign up for it, and this is not me. This is not like a plug for myself or a promo for myself. This is something that that I actually do because I love it. One and two, I get to discover new products. So there is that. And then plus two, like I have a couple of exciting campaigns that I'm participating in, but I just have to carve out the time to actually do that and edit my other videos and keep filming. Also by Neutrogena, I got this. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. This instantly quenches for clinically proven supple, dry, supple hydrated skin. I used to use Jergens, which that is also good, but I decided to I decided to use this instead, and this is really, really, really good. It's um, it was it's very cooling, and it's watery, but then it actually goes into your skin, leaving your skin soft. But I think what really makes your skin soft, to be honest is showering twice a day. I think taking a bath or taking a shower twice a day, that's what really helps for you to to keep your skin soft. Because right now, like my skin, ooh, right now my skin is soft because I shower twice a day. Some more skincare products I got. I've been into serums. I just finished my Truly Anti-Cellulite Serum, which I do not recommend Truly products. That is just me. I don't get the hype. Like it's very pretty. And they have like the cutie little acai your boobies and all of that, but there's no hype to it for me. So I wouldn't buy it again. So I found some other cheaper alternatives to that. And this is the it's not a skin proud. This is body proud. Smooth talk is fully in body serum. This gently exfoliates, brightens, and smooths with AHA caffeine and niacinamide. You feel empowered with bright botanical and green tea and this is a vegan oh this smells um this smells not bad so i'm gonna start because i usually when i shower twice on weekdays i normally will what do i call it i normally will lotion with like my Victoria's Secret pink oil and lotions and that makes my skin smooth but then i notice that sometimes like my skin will become itchy before bedtime especially when i change it to my pajamas so i need to add serum onto my body before bedtime so i have this one and I also have this Rainbow Beauty Smooth Strawberry and Niacinamide Hydrating Body Serum. Everything has to be hydrating for me because my body skin is dry. Honestly, everything from the nose down, dry. But then nose up, oily. 
And this one helps with dryness and firming. So this is going to keep my skin firm along with helping with dryness. And this does smell really good, but you also gotta be careful with what you um, mix also. Cause you don't want to mix certain body scents together cause then that make you feel sick. So you wanna be careful with that. Now for my Burlington haul, which this bag is Press and Plain Jane. So it's 2024 is coming up and I want to go through my things, declutter. So I decided to buy some new items from now before I go through my declutter. So first thing I got, and my mom actually found this, is this um, robe. It's like a shaggy rug. Everybody's looking at it like, ew, yuck. But I think it's cute and it's so, I think it's going to be really warm. It might be too warm. I'm going to be taking it off for the most part. This is the Lazy Chick um, in medium, which I need to try this out and um, see. I usually get like a large, but I think a medium will do me well because this I think was an X large and I usually have to tie it because I'm short. And when I go down the stairs, I don't want to fall. But this is for $14.99. And then I also saw um this and I was like, okay, I do need more loungewear sets for the house because I will be going through some loungewear sets that I have in here and i will be decluttering um that as well this is by juicy couture you know the deal and this is um the picture so it is a hoodie set i like hoods so you have the hood and then you have the um bottoms there's nothing on the booty it just has a juicy couture on like the waist part and then the um juicy couture across and this is leaned out i love the packaging it's just it's so cute i guess this is supposed to be a gift which this is a gift for myself for $19.99 at Burlington. If you haven't already, I would say shop on there. There's a couple things that I, there's a couple things that I bought, but I'm gonna wait until my next project comes because I don't want to share that just yet. I also saw these. Um, this is the Eco Organic Biodegradable Derma Planning Razor Set, and this is a 12 pack for only $6.99. I was trying to do the math in my head with about like how much it would um, be, but if I were to do the math, it would probably be about 50 cents per um, 50 cents per razor. So it'd be 50 cents per razor, which again, it's not a bad deal. It's not bad. And this hair is gonna keep falling. So I'm just gonna leave it. And um, it is um, biodegradable, biodegradable, if I were to, if you were to recycle it and it goes in the ocean or anywhere, it will break down on its own. The goal is to save the planet and I'm about that life. So when I was waiting for, um, to get checked out, I saw these socks by BCBG. There's three pairs in here. I thought they were really cute and this was for $4.99. So I'd say this is about like 75 cents per sock if I were to do the math in my head. I mean, can't you tell that I was a math major? And then the next set of products is things I thought that were cute. I mean, it may be a little, a lot of you may feel a little weirded out by it, but I think these are cute. And these are some underwears. So this is some underwear by Juicy Couture. And this is the back part of this. And it's the back part for this. It's always good as ladies to have black underwear for that time of the month. You know, I'm someone that will alternate between different products that I use around that time. But you definitely want black underwear. And oh, okay, that's that's the smart designs. Yeah. I don't really know if I like that one. But yeah. Oh, and this one is right here. Okay. So this is a size medium. Like in my underwears, I am a size a medium, even though I could go up to a large, but I keep it the same. I don't want to change it and then they start falling off on me. But this is a five pack for $10.99, like $11. So that would be $2.20 per underwear, which is not bad. And then I also bought these ones. I thought these were so cute, but at first I saw the large and I was just like, let me see if I could find a medium here. So I found a medium and these are all for $10.99, same price as the other one. So again, $2.20 per underwear. And then... I saw these ones and I feel like these might be the most comfortable underwear. Cause yes, um, you want, oh, okay. Let me cover um, her up. 
let me cover my friend up. Uh-uh. But it's always good, like, when you're going out in public to wear loose fitting. I don't want to say loose fitting, but, like, seamless underwear that feels comfortable and something that is cotton, so to say. Like, no one likes uncomfortable underwear. I'm one of those people. So, I saw this, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is cute. They're all natural shades. I, I high key wish that they had the bras to go with it because I would have been like doing sets on sets but sadly they don't I mean Burlington they don't have any good bras honestly because I bought a couple of them and there's a set that I have worn at one point and one cup is bigger than the other cup and it's very lean and I didn't it doesn't make me feel comfortable so I think I might donate that as well so this is four pairs of underwear for nine dollars so that is for $2.25 per underwear. Yeah, so $2.25 um, per underwear, which that's not bad, it's not a bad steal. I can tell you that um, the wonton tacos, I've had those before. Just a quick roundup for the day. And um, those ones were really good. I'm gonna put things away as I'm talking to y'all. Cause I'm not doing anything right now. I'm gonna wait till next week to get through my things the one time tacos were really good because i've had that before if you if you go on my snapchat you'll see that when i used to do day my life's on there that okay that i used to do that i would i do appetizers okay because sometimes again i like my mom's cooking and i don't know if what you make and this is no disrespect for any restaurants but i don't know if what other people make is going to agree with my stomach or if i'm not going to like it and I don't want to waste, I don't waste money on anything that is um, terrible. So, some things I got to be wary of, okay? And that is the food. So, I usually pick up appetizers, but then sometimes I'll pick up a meal that looks good and that is good. But this is my second time having the wonton tacos, and I feel like it was really good. Very messy, but it was really good. That's um, best for, like, if you're going on a date, pick up. Get some appetizers that look appetizing so it don't look sad, okay? And plus, so you don't have all that food that is going to go to waste, you know? But definitely not the wonton tacos. I would not recommend you eat that on a date because that is just messy. Some people like messy dates. I don't like messy dates. So I'm going to call it a night. I did buy my Theraflu also the day and the night. And I did, um, and I didn't start fresh yet. And I just forgot that I forgot to buy the day quill. Cause I've just been taking night quill, my sister and I, cause we're both under the weather. It's not good. So we're both under the weather. So I'm just gonna take some night quill and then start fresh with their flu tomorrow. I like their flu more than day quill and night quill, cause night quill gives me acid reflux and it does me no good. But I do drink water afterwards, so it'll just flush down into my stomach and it usually does me well. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna take this makeup off, which this lash is like, um, girl, it's time to um, come off. And then, again, I'm still mad that there's no pictures, but things happen. I mean, I'm coming to realization that things happen. Maybe it was supposed to be on another day, despite that everyone, including myself, was mentally prepared and was physically prepared for today. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get myself together for the weekend. I'm definitely going to relax. I definitely am going to edit. I might film, that's like a slight might. And if I'm filming, it's going to be me not talking at all. But I need to get through the editing phase first before I just film, you know? Cause I have a few videos that I have to edit, including some vlogs. And I gotta make it snappy. I know a lot of you want to see that but thank you so much for watching this video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me also do not forget to click on the notification bell so that way you are on the alert as to when my videos are out there are some videos that are coming up next I'll see you in the next episode and I'll see you in the video that's coming up next bye Oh, 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 oh,